still feel mud claws. Pyramid session. <laughs> that would be it. Okay, simply need to get across this without getting my feet wet. Morning guys. Welcome to week three of ultramarathon training. Well, your boy has almost made it through two consecutive weeks of training without injury, if you can believe it. <laughs> Stick around, I'll tell you how I've got on. We've had nothing but wind and rain for the past few days. Well, if not all week. So I'm out in the mud clothes again today. But uh, let's get back to the beginning of the week. Monday was 6k easy run. So I uh, followed a little trail loop that I've made from the new house. Took it nice and easy. Had my uh, heart rate alert set just to keep me under 155. That went well. Heart rate always spikes a bit, hopping through those muddy sections of the field. Mud claws are definitely muddy. Filthy mud claws. As Draco Malfoy might say. Okay, I'm familiar with this route. My usual loop goes around to the left through the field there. But today I'm exploring. <laughs> Hoping to do eight kilometers easy. Push the right side of the gate, Mark. And go somewhere I've never been before. Ooh. So, Tuesday, next one up, that was eight kilometers, uh, followed by strength training. So I think I did 4K out, 4K back, if I remember rightly. And then straight into the gym afterwards. Uh, never sure whether to get changed into fresh clothes straight after the run before I go in. Because wearing sweaty clothes in a cold garage isn't the most comfortable. But I wore the wet clothes and got it done anyway, super warmed up. Trying to keep things easy. Just had to jog up the hill to get past a man with his dog. So. Luckily I'm going downhill now. Now on to Wednesday. The plan called for 50 minutes of cardio. Not running. So I did my first proper session on the rowing machine that I bought especially for this job. Wasn't overly looking forward to it, not gonna lie. It's only a cheap rowing machine. Not much fun to be on. But I managed to do 25 minutes before I thought that's enough. It's a new exercise for me. I'm gonna be sore as heck in the morning, whatever day I do. So yeah, felt like I'd had enough at that point. It felt good for it anyway. So yeah, managed to do half the uh, amount I was supposed to and just got used to being on the rowing machine, listening to a podcast. So it went pretty well. Look at the state of the footprints from the mud claws. <laughs> Grip for days. On to Thursday, and that was the first rest day of the week. So uh, I was ready for it. Uh, yeah, made sure I had plenty of good food and relaxed. Took it easy and got ready for the session that was to come on Friday. So as you may recall, the first four weeks of the plan are the base phase and this is week three and what the section does is ramp up for three weeks and then there's a deload week before we move on to the next section. So Thursday this week included uh, the first speed session of the plan, putting some efforts in and it called for a pyramid. Uh, pyramid session <laughs> that would be it one two three three two one so uh, I programmed it into the watch on Garmin and uh, after a 15 minute warm-up uh, give it some welly for a minute and then recover jogging for a minute and then two minutes hard two minutes recover <coughs> three same and then three again then two then one and then you've got the 15 minute <coughs> cool down at the end so I really enjoyed that uh, going uh, a bit faster than I've been used to calves are a tiny bit sore I can feel this morning but it's all good hence why there's an easy recovery session on the plan for today
Okay, simply need to get across this without getting my feet wet. <laughs> um, yep, how hard can it be? Ooh. Open the gate, let go for it in my hand. It's almost too easy, I'm aiming for that. Oh. Yes, there go my eardrums. I think that gate's definitely shut. And we're off. So all of that brings us up to today, Saturday. And I'm doing this 8k easy run. Exploring to make it more fun. And just trying to recover after yesterday's session. But also today, I need to do some strength work. So I'll probably do that as soon as I get home. While I'm still in the mood, same having to, safe having to get changed for exercise again later. the strength training and simply have to get up tomorrow and do the 14k long run and that's it week three done two consecutive weeks of training can you believe it i know i can't going well so far though the foot's okay seems to be better than it was and like i say running doesn't make it worse if anything it seems to make it ease off so yeah i think that's going okay Still doing the rehab on the knee to keep that under control and not add a murmur from it so hopefully next time i see you we'll be into week four <laughs> thanks for watching guys catch you then almost home guys i'm supposed to turn down here <laughs> wish me luck the mud claws have done me proud up to now but and see the chances of crossing a river. Oh, it's nice this. I think I balanced on this log last time I crossed here. Oh no, this doesn't look safe at all. The one thing the mud claws don't grip is wet wood. And my balance isn't the best. The safest option might be to just either wade through or go a different way. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Gotta get across there now. Whoa. Sink in. Sink in the water. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Don't panic. The public hot path. It's meant to look like this. Whew. Oh, it's almost too easy. <laughs> yep, that's a path. This is where I come from. I've had quite a lot of rain recently. 